Hello, here in the Kyoto Botanical Garden, and today is September 16, you can see this very exceptional plant. Well, don't look like very exceptional from the first glance, but it's one of the remarkable exceptions in the plant world. So there is a family, Proteaceae, which is told to be distributed mostly in southern hemisphere, like South Africa, South America, in Australia and have some representatives in tropics as well. Typically they say that Proteaceae is a southern plant. However, there are few groups of Protea family which go as north as Japan. This is only native to Japan species of Protea family. Helicea, Helicea cachinhenensis. Helicea is a big genus, like about 100 species, with a center of diversity in New Guinea, close to the equator. So, this is logical that that species might typically spread, and it spread it to the Vietnam, to China, Taiwan, and goes as north as the middle of Honshu Island of Japan. So, this Helicea cachinhenendis make an exception among all Protea family. And I love exceptions. Not because like I think that exceptions will support the rule. Not. I don't like this saying. I like it because exceptions like Helicea or Helvingia with fruits on the surface of leaves show us how more complicated nature is than we typically think. It's amazing to me. Anyway, Helicea is very hard to tell uh, the family right now without flowers, but there is a clue. Proteus is a very polymorphic Greek god, and Protea family has very polymorphic leaves. So look on Helicea leaves. Some of them are very small and have very rare teeth. But some of them are quite long and have lots of teeth, they even similar to the leaf of distant different, uh, dis distant relative of Helicea to macadamia nuts, macadamia plant. So this is how Helicea might be recognizable even without flowers. Thank you very much.